So when I'm doing leg charts, this is for ladder. First thing I do is I set up my cake. So step one is I need to find the gross, what the crane can pick up. And then my line pole, I have to make sure that my line can pick up what my gross can. And then I need to find all my deductions, which is jib, lock, ball, rigging, main, ox, and other. So how I figure this out is I just start at the top, jib, lock, ball, rigging, main, this is my ox, and then other. So first I need to find my gross. So how I find gross is reading the question, what is the net lifting off main? So main would tell me if I'm using the main boom or the jib, and then my radius is of 160. So to find gross, you need to know two different items. It's either gonna be boom length and radius or boom length and angle. So this one gives me radius and boom. So I'm gonna to need to find 230 foot of main boom and I need to find 160 radius. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to get to my page in my Manitowoc book. So here's 230 foot of main boom. And then it gave me a radius of 160. So what I like to do is as soon as I find my radius is I go over, this is my angle. This is a boom point elevation. This number is pretty important. So I'm gonna go ahead and write this down. And I write this down because it's main. I'm gonna write it underneath main. All right, so I need to keep going. So 160, 178. So then I have two different grosses I can use depending on how my crawlers are set up, whether they're retracted or extended. So I gotta figure out which one the question has. So how you find that is it says right here that my crawlers are extended. So looking at extended and 160, my gross is 15, 100. I'm going to write that down. Now I have to figure out if my line can hold 15,000. How you figure that out is at the front of this book, second paragraph, it's saying that uh, for one part of cable, I can pick up 29,500. For two parts, I can pick up 59,000. So this crane sh is showing that my block is attached to my main cable and it is two parts. So that was the number 59,000. So yes, my line can hold 15. That's all I needed this number for. So now I need to, f I need to go through and do my deductions. Up here it says I have a 30 foot jib. So going back to that first page of the book, a 30 foot jib is 2,700 pounds. So now I need to go down the list. Angle does not matter for weight. Block, 2,650. Ball. Rigging, 285. All right, so now main line. So for, it's supposed to be every one foot. So if for every one foot of cable I have, it weighs two pounds. So right now, my boom point elevation means that the hoist line is hanging or could potentially hang 178 feet off the ground. But it weighs two pounds. And then I have two parts of cable. So this is my line pool. Doing this math, I'm gonna get 712. Now we gotta do the same for my whip line. So the whip line is attached to the ball, obviously. And it is hanging 10 feet from the jib, and it also weighs two pounds per foot. 
So I'm gonna do 10 times two for two pounds. And it's one part of cable. And then other says NA, so I'm gonna just go ahead and put a line through it. This will equal 20. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add up all these and minus it for my gross, and that will give me my net. If I do the math on this, I will get 8,233.